Hello everybody, this is Bradley from Analysis Pro and this week we will look at probably one of the most important aspects of Naxbot when you're in the registering environment, your template. So let me share my screen with you now. So here we are in the register environment and you can see my template here over on the right. So these templates are fully customizable for what you are looking for. Whatever you want on your button, you can have. Therefore, you can analyze what you are looking for from the game. Now, the buttons work in different ways. The first observation is you've got categories and descriptors. Descriptors are signified by this little red dot and they add more description to the action that happened. For example, the shot was us, it was on target and it was short. But you can also set different behaviors to the buttons. So for example, if we play the video now, we know the game's kicking off, so one person's gonna have possession. I've assigned a hotkey to my button at the top, possession own, so I can use the keypad to press O and we'll be in possession there. If we were to lose to possession now, I could easily press P, it would turn my button off saying that I'm in possession and show that the opposition is in possession. So it's automatically turning that button off manually. Similarly, this works the same for where the ball is in the pitch. We know now we are in this part of the pitch, but if we moved into the different areas of the pitch, we can easily press the one, two, three keys to show where the ball is and how it's distributed throughout the pitch. We've got the normal buttons, which you can set pre and post times of the clip. For example, five seconds before and five seconds after you press it. So pressing that will add that to your timeline. So let's see if we can look at a passage of play now where we can see this template in action. So here we are. We've got a shot here. So we press shot. It's on target and it was a long shot. So in a few clicks, we're building up a picture of what happened. We would also have this button on showing we were in possession and we'd have this button on showing what area of the pitch it was too. Pressing escape anytime cancels these manual buttons and brings the template back to normal if the ball went out of play. Now you can see up here, this descriptor is an auto descriptor signified by this circle here with the black line around it. This means that always when you click that button, it will add that descriptor. So I know it's always gonna be the first half for the next 45 minutes. So every time I click a register, it will tell the timeline that it's happening in the first half and adding that description to that category. So that is the template. You've also got an alternative way to register. You don't necessarily always need the template. If you were looking for something specific, you could always just press the control key and bring up this window. I think this. Set your pre and post times to what you want and tick. And that also gets added to your register. So that's a few things for you to think about with your template. I hope you enjoyed. So if you would like a more comprehensive tutorial on how to build the templates, we have plenty of resources available for you on our knowledge base on our website. That's it for me this week on Talk to Brad. As ever, if you do have anything you wish me to show next week, feel free to email me. The email's coming up at the end of this video. Thank you very much. See you soon.